Hi, I'm Sammy Skinner, Red Can Artist and Sambia Ambassador, and today I want to show you how I like to cut a mixie. What I love about a mixie is that it is a pixie with just longer bits left over, and you can really customize it to how your client would prefer it to look. I like to keep things really simple, so let's get started. Today I'm going to be working with Sambia's Streamline Precision Shear and Sambia Razor. This is going to be our pencil and this is going to be our paintbrush. We're going to remove hair with this and with our razor we're just going to go in and customize it and give it a little bit of something edgy. I've already sectioned out the top and separated the front from the back. It created two semicircles. Now we're going to go in and separate the back from the front and we're going to start in the back. Now all we're going to do within this back section is section out a triangle. It's gonna go from one side of the head to the other and meet almost at the very bottom of the nape. Once you have that section done, we're ready to cut the perimeter. So how I like to break down this haircut is I like to cut the perimeter and interior first, and then we're gonna go for the top, the exterior last. It's basically going to be disconnected on the inside so we can have those longer bits without it being too heavy. So what we're gonna do with these triangles on the side, which is basically the shape that they've created, is we're just gonna split it in two. Right here in the middle, we're gonna split that section into two. And the only reason why we're gonna do that is because our fingers are a little too small to hold that entire section. Now, if you think that you can do it, totally do it because we're gonna be using condensed cutting today you can break the rules. So I'm gonna clip this section up out of the way and I'm gonna take my last section here, my bottom section, and I'm going to elevate it past this part line by about an inch and a half to two inches, depending on the length that I want on the inside. Because we're over directing everything here, we're gonna have a little bit of longer lengths in here. So that's where our little mullet pieces are gonna come from on the bottom. So I'm gonna elevate past this part line. My finger angle is gonna mimic this part line here, okay? Now I can check. I'm about an inch and a half to two inches past that part line. That works for me. If you wanna go longer, you just slide your fingers up longer. So now my, my fingers are mimicking that part line. I'm just gonna cut straight, okay? And now when I drop that section, we have that great little mullet bit there at the nape. Now I'm gonna take this section right on top, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Make sure that when you comb these sections that you're getting all the hair going in the same direction. I'm elevating it up, I'm going past my part line. If you want, you can take this hair from the previous section and measure your guide, okay? So now I can see my guide, my finger angle is following the part line and I'm cutting. Super simple and we've gotten rid of that length and we've created a disconnection on the inside. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now you can use a piece from the section that you previously cut and use that as your guide. So now we're gonna cut our middle section and we're gonna divide it into three sections. So if you know the bevels of the head, you know that the major changes direction that happen vertically happen as your comb leaves the head. So if you can envision that, for this sectioning here. And if you don't know that, all you're gonna do is right in the middle of the head, we're gonna take about a two inch bevel. We're gonna be left with these two on the side. That way we aren't over directing these sections too much to the middle. We're gonna cut the hair where it lives vertically. So I'm gonna push these out of the way. And really what we wanna do is we wanna create little tails of length in this back area that we can play with and sort of customize. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna comb this section straight up vertically. Our finger angle is gonna mimic the part line, so we're just gonna have a horizontal finger angle. We're gonna comb this straight up. And when you're doing an over-directed haircut on something short like this, make sure that your hands and that your fingers are wrapping and laying flat on the head. Creating even more over direction when you do that, meaning that it's gonna fall a lot softer and there won't be any hard lines. So this looks good to me. So we already know that this section here is gonna be pretty long. So we're gonna have like a fun little tail here to work with. And on the inside, we're gonna be short so that everything that lays on top will lay a little bit flatter. This is a really nice way to get rid of bulk within your short haircuts. I'm about an inch and a half past my part and I'm just gonna cut straight across. 
And now, when I drop that section, we have a little tail here, but wait just one second. I'm gonna cut these two sections the same exact way, then we're gonna go in with our razor. So before we move to the front, this is where I like to come with my razor and just sort of give these a little bit more of a chewier edge. I'm gonna take a little bit of this tail off because it's a little bit longer than I like, but I love the length of everything else. What I'm doing is holding it straight out and I'm using this as my guide and I'm just taking my razor straight down to take off a little bit more length. I'm gonna hold it straight out and just take a little bit of texture out from the inside. We've loosened it up, but we're still keeping it short on the inside. So let's go ahead and move to the front. We're gonna move back to our shear, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the front from our bang section and our side section. So how we're gonna find that is we're gonna take our comb and we're gonna rock back from the edge of the eyebrow, and we're gonna move this out of our way. So now, I'm sure you've guessed it, with our side sections, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this entire side section here. Now, if you are not comfortable with condensed cutting or you have a smaller hand, you can split this into two sections, no problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this straight up and I'm gonna go past the part line and I'm gonna be finding my guide from the hair that's behind the ear. So essentially what we're doing in the front here is we're creating our longest piece to be right here by the ear because we're over directing that up. So everything that's gonna be the shortest is gonna lay on the inside. So all we're gonna do, elevate this straight up. We're gonna wrap our hand to kind of lay on the head to give us support to cut this section. I'm checking that all the grains of my hair is going the same way. There's my guide right here. We've created something nice and short on the inside with some long pieces to play with. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and we're gonna customize our side pieces. Now that we have both of our sides cut, we're gonna come in with our razor and just sort of give it a little something extra. We pull it straight out. We can see we created short to long and I'm just gonna sort of follow that line and make it a little bit shorter. Then what I'm gonna do is hold that section straight out and I'm gonna come on the inside of it, going longer to shorter with my texture. I'll add a little bit of face framing. I'll take it a little bit out, out around the ear. Now I'm gonna go back to our shear and we're gonna cut the bang. Now I split our bang section down the middle because I want them to part their hair in the middle. Now, depending on where your client parts their hair, you can just sort of judge that parting of where you want this to be based on that. So essentially what you're left with is two square partings. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this section, think of the corner of this as our arrow of where we want our over direction to sit. So I'm gonna follow this arrow. I'm gonna comb everything back and I'm gonna decide where I want my length to be. So the end of my bang will fall right about here, but on the inside, we're creating some short to long pieces. Here's a hot tip. You want to make sure that your bang section doesn't go back further than where the comb comes off the head. So that's where the comb comes off the head. So all of that is going to fall forward. So I know that this is gonna fall over my short pieces. What we don't wanna do is cut those short pieces too far back, so then we're not creating a disconnection. We need the disconnection to be on the inside. You over direct this all the way back. This arrow is gonna be the direction in which we're going. I'm gonna wrap and lay my hands on the head for control of this section. We're gonna make sure everything's combed really nice and neat. You can kind of pinch it together if you'd like, and I'm gonna cut straight. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna use this as our arrow to point us in the right direction. We're gonna comb it back, making sure that everything is combed really nice and neat. But now we have our guide from the section before. We're gonna wrap it, lay it on the head. You wanna grab your guide from right here so it's coming from the same exact place. I can see my guide and I'm just gonna cut straight. And there's our bang section there. It falls really nicely to the shape of their head. 
and we have these nice short pieces in here. So when this falls forward, it doesn't lay too heavy. Now, before you move on to the top, we're gonna come in with our razor and just sort of give it a little bit of personality. All I'm gonna do is sort of follow the line that I cut before. There's this beautiful disconnection here from where we cut our side and our bang. I'm gonna connect it with my razor. Now all I'm doing is just taking really nice long strokes and connecting that really big disconnection. And now we have this really great kind of, almost like a hole cut out here. So we're able to really get really nice flicks and fun movement in the front. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Being careful to not take off that length. See now we have these two little great, almost like little triangles cut out in the bang and we can come in and really give it like a fun little funky look. So now we have our entire base and perimeter bang put into this haircut. Now we need to cut the top. All right, so now we're gonna cut our top section, the one that is divided into two semicircles. So this is the one that's coming from ear to ear and I'm just pulling it straight forward. Now I like to keep things really simple. So we're gonna be working with our razor here. I'm just gonna split this down the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use shorter piece of the bang as my guide. I don't wanna go as long as this, as my longest piece, and I don't wanna go as short as the disconnection. So I'm just gonna kind of find something right in the middle, and we're gonna take really long strokes, just give it a really nice PC feel. Making sure to not move your hand, you're just taking off that length, okay? Now, you're gonna feel like there's a little bit of a shelf here. Just wait until the end. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now we have a guide to work with, our other side. So all we're gonna do is hold this section straight forward, find that guide, long strokes. I'm not moving my hand, I'm keeping my hand stationary and I'm taking it straight off, okay? Now remember, you're gonna feel like there's a little bit of a shelf here, that's okay, we're gonna take care of that at the end. So now the front is cut and we're gonna go to the back. So this is our entire back section it's from our occipital up to the top of the head. We're gonna split it in the middle, dividing into two sections. We're gonna elevate this straight off the head, straight out. I'm gonna grab my guide from the last section that I cut right here, okay? I'm gonna take really long strokes and taking that length off. Notice I kept my hand stationary the whole time, so I removed the link while I was adding texture on the inside. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now we have an ending point, so we know we need to end about right here. Here's our starting point right here. I'm holding my section straight out from the head. Long stroke. That's our entire back section. So before I cut anything else, I wet her back down and I'm gonna comb it into the place that I wanna see it. I like things to come forward, and remember there were those little shelves on the side. So all you wanna do is just pull it straight out, and all I'm gonna do is just come in and texturize that shelf. Now my rule of thumb with short hair is that if I like the way it looks wet, I'm gonna diffuse it with some product in it. So I'm gonna go on with Redken's Big Blowout. It gives it a little bit of hold, but it doesn't make it crunchy. I'm gonna put it all over my hands. I'm gonna come in and tap throughout their ends. And then I'm gonna go with the Redken's Full Frame and just put it on the pieces that I really wanna accentuate. So right in here in the back and the bangs. Now I'm gonna comb everything into place. I really like these pieces to flip out, so I'm gonna flip those pieces out. So I'm gonna go with my Artist Series Sambia Blow Dryer and Diffuser, and I'm gonna diffuse the hair. I'm gonna wait until it's about 80% dry, then I'm gonna start hand styling a bit. So now that she's about 80% dry, I'm gonna go in with my hands, I'm gonna start breaking up the product a little bit and start to form it the way that I wanna see it. So once we finished diffusing, we went in with our fingers and sort of accentuated the longer pieces that were left behind. And what I love about this haircut is that you can really customize it, make it shorter or long longer depending on your guest's needs or wants. Thanks again for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow Sam Via Hair and Sammy Skinner Hair on TikTok and Instagram.